What's up guys? It's been a while since uh, you know I brought you guys a video with the 2JZ E46 Competition M3 but uh, this is the good one. This is the, uh, finally I'm going to get this car started today. So uh, I got myself a brand new battery. I'm going to fill all the fluids up and uh, yeah you know I got an appointment with my tuner in about, about an hour so I got to kind of get all this stuff together. But, uh, you know, since the last time you guys seen this car, I've got a lot done. Obviously, I got everything done, but uh, I wasn't able to really film it all because I was just taking my time with it and just making sure everything was, you know, perfect, just the way that I wanted it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's finally time to get this thing turned over. It's been a long wait, so, you know, let's get everything together. Alright guys, so uh, I got everything done, got the water in, I just put water in the system for right now, I'm not going to put antifreeze yet, until, oh man, it's early, until uh, the car is, everything is tuned and done, then I'll put antifreeze in, but for now I'm just going to put water, because I did have a little leak, so you know, this is the time when I'm going to find out if there's leaks or anything, I had a little water leak by the uh, inlet water, uh, area I fixed that real quick I bled the clutch real quick because I forgot to bleed the clutch uh, filled up the oil uh, laptop is connected and ready so uh, my tuner which is actually spec tune aka Freddy some of you guys may be familiar with him some of you guys may not be uh, but if you're not familiar with Freddy and you probably are familiar with Adam LZ uh, he's actually Adam LZ's tuner as well. He is the one that actually tuned the LS M3 for me, and now he's gonna tune the 2JZ M3 for me. I trust Freddie's tuning and his mastermind 100%. He knows what he's doing, but uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on him to call me and then 
crank this thing. You know, he's building the base map right now. I sent him all the information. As soon as he's finished with the base map, he's going to call me, remote in, and hopefully get this thing started for you guys and me. All right, guys. So, Freddy and ECU Master is controlling my computer right now. My wife's computer. I don't even know if I could... Uh, zoom in on this info here but as you can see it's just a lot of numbers a lot of calibrating going on and uh, yeah just uploading everything and getting all the parameters straight before we could actually uh, do the ignition I think they're almost there uh, you know more numbers are popping up on the screen there is a lot more going on we've been at this for about maybe an hour now so uh, hopefully you know we'll be turning the key soon you gotta press the clutch down oh <laughs> Question, uh, as far as like oil or anything, uh, it just, yeah, I let go of the key. Oh no, because I was asking you a question about the oil or anything uh, uh, priming into the system or pumping into the system since it's been dry. Alright guys, so basically uh, right now I'm trying to get some oil pressure in the system. It is cranking, they got everything uh, working uh, between ECU Master and Freddy. But just trying to get some oil pressure. Right now oil pressure is reading 0.0, .0 so I'm going to do some troubleshooting to just make sure you know the motor is getting adequate oil. And then hopefully this thing turns over. Alright guys, so I just had a, a fuel leak. I was smelling gas and I wasn't supposed to be smelling no gas because uh, I disconnected the injectors just to um, prime some oil through the system. I was smelling gas, looked underneath the car, sure enough, you know, by the fuel pressure regulator, there was uh, two leaks by the front and the back because uh, if any of you watched that video before when I did the fuel pressure regulator, then you'd see that there's literally probably about like six connections on just the one setup. So. I kind of in the back of my head knew that maybe one of them or it ended up being two of them did have a leak. I had to take out the lines, do a whole bunch of stuff, but back at it again, try to see if I get some uh, fuel, some oil pressure. Still nothing yet. Alright guys, so uh, I disconnected the one of the lines from the oil pump. Not the oil pump. Um, one of the lines for the oil cooler. And uh, finally I got some oil from there. So it actually spilled out. I had, to I had to clean that up. So let me check now. Hopefully I'll get turn these zeros into some oil pressure. Thank you. That's 
finally got some oil pressure. Went up to about 26 PSI. Time to start this. It's been enough delay already, right? Alright. Alright guys, finally, victory, uh, I mean it's been a long road but judging by the smile on my face, you can tell that, and you already know, it started, it sounds good, Freddie said everything checked out, all my, uh, all my numbers, gauges, everything uh, is good, which is, you know, a major accomplishment, but there's still some task ahead because uh, I'm getting a weird clanking noise that you might have heard in the video something is rubbing somewhere and I gotta find that I gotta hunt that down to figure out what the heck that is because it's annoying and uh, I don't know what it's rubbing on uh, I gotta check everything out also I gotta bring my fuel pressure down a little bit it's a little bit high gotta adjust the radium fuel pressure regulator just bring that down you know a couple psi but uh yeah i mean it's good so i'm gonna sort out just those two issues i sorted out the leaks um that's good um make sure that i'm gonna make sure the fan comes on and uh yeah i did it uh you know almost there then it'll be uh tuning time but this is a major accomplishment it started it's idling good everything is looking good so i'm very happy but uh guys Listen, stick with me because the next video will be at the dyno. So, and we're going to see what numbers we get. You know what I mean? We got 1,200 cc injectors. So, you know, I'm fingers crossed that I get 600. You know, I'm, look, I'm really gunning for 600 horses out of this one. But, uh, guys, listen, like this, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know, stay tuned for more. There will be more of this, more of that, more of everything. So, until next time, guys, thank you. Peace.